This morning, we are spotlighting a small business owned by a couple that are active military. Yeah, they started a side hustle making cutting and charcuterie boards, and it really took off. So Arlena Maria is there this morning to see their creations. Good morning to you. We're going to be on the news. Hey, Jenny, we're going to be on the news. I know. Tomorrow morning. How's that kalachi? It's so good. We have so much to do. I don't know where to even begin. What do they want to see? Probably Bruce. That's what everybody wants to see. <laughs> They'll be like, you guys sit down. <laughs> this dog, on the other hand, get up here. I went to a nerdy weather conference and made friends with one of the meteorologists there for the local Houston station. And he got us a spot on the news on Friday morning. So we get to show our warehouse and our boards and our table that we're about to release. And we're super nervous. Nervous eating. Talk to 10,000 people every week we upload a video on YouTube, but then a couple hundred people at a doctor's office are gonna see us on the news and we freak the freak out. I guess we could start by cleaning the place. That might be a good place to start. Man, I don't know if you can tell a difference, but when we clean this place up, man, it looks good. You look good too. Oh, thanks. When I clean up too, I look nice. We hung up these beautiful things. That's Lombardi poster. So now what we wanna do is we wanna make a pretty backdrop. Jenny, what have we learned from sales and marketing? that people like pretty things and pretty backdrops are pretty things. So I know it sounds super weird, but we're gonna move this out into the warehouse shop space just so we can have a cool background to film up against. And while we're sanding cutting boards or doing whatever action shots they want us to be doing, people are being subliminally messaged to buy some Mara Table Co's boards in the background. No shame. It can't not work. <laughs> All right, so what I'm thinking is we have a camera angle of about that. We'll pull one of the lasers in front of there and then we'll do the little demo. But this, what you're seeing, is probably gonna be the news camera angle if they like it. I don't know, this is all subject to change. But we want our inventory rack to look full, even though it never does. Um, so I've got some boards that are almost done and I think we're just gonna stack them on the shelf and make it look like uh, that they're fully stocked, even though I've still got a couple more hours worth of sanding to do. Now it looks like we're responsible business owners that- Fully stocked and ready to go at all times. Creating. All right, so remember the magic shot? This, this is the magic shot. So we gotta make it look good in this frame right here. Now I've got our laser so we can do show and tell. We'll have some board displays. We've got branding in the background. we got boards in the back. I think that looks like a pretty good shot. I think that looks really cute. excited to have this opportunity to be on the news and honestly it's been a lot of coordination behind the scenes I'm talking tons of phone calls and text messages just to make sure this whole thing goes on smoothly 
And I'm so happy our cell phone provider can keep up with our crazy lifestyle for a fraction of the cost of the other companies. It's no stranger that we're big supporters of Mint Mobile. We switched to Mint Mobile years ago. We've got four phones and they're all on Mint Mobile. So thanks to Mint Mobile for partnering on this video. Mint Mobile offers premium wireless service for as low as $15 a month. And you don't have to sacrifice any coverage, any speed, or any data. They're built on the nation's largest 5G network, and they're able to keep costs low because they don't have retail stores. They sell direct to you online. So why should you pay more than you have to to access the same cell phone network? All Mint Mobile plans include unlimited talk and text, plus lightning fast 5G with a free mobile hotspot. Mint also has a modern family plan. We've been getting our friends to switch for years. Guys, we travel a lot. With the Hurricane Hunters, we're all over the world. We've never had a problem with Mint. I was honestly a little worried when we first switched, but it's been nothing short of amazing. It only takes about 15 minutes to switch. It wasn't complicated, it wasn't hard. They've got step-by-step -step instructions. It's really a lot easier than the other cell phone companies have made you think it is to switch carriers. It is a piece of cake. And now for an extra special offer for our channel. If you sign up before July 14th using our link, you can get their unlimited plan, which is usually $30 a month, for just $15 a month. That's 50% off of an already insanely low price. It really is that simple. It takes about 15 minutes to pay only $15 a month for wireless service. Use our link, mintmobile.com slash Jenny Ann Davis. Type that in to get started or click the link in the description or scan this QR code. It really helps us out. Like we said, we've been telling our friends to switch for years, so you're just gonna be another one of our friends that we've talked into <laughs> switching to Mint Mobile. Of all of our friends that we've asked to switch, no one has switched back. So one of the things we're gonna talk about on the news is the fact that we're releasing a new table design and I don't have any tables in the shop ready for shipping. So I'm gonna take some white oak and I'm gonna clamp it up and make it look like we're building a tabletop uh, because hopefully in less than a week we will be, but you just wanna show people what you're doing. So I'm gonna take some of this nice white oak, cut it down and glue it up into what eventually will be a tabletop. Now to the casual news watcher, that looks like a tabletop. Shh, it'll be our little secret. All right, well now that the shop is set up and cleaned up and ready for our five seconds of fame on the news, uh, we get to do the really fun part of figuring out what to say yes. when the camera's pointed at our face, which is much harder than we make it look. We are so terrible at giving our own elevator pitch. I know, so we have to like get it down into simple sentences. When they ask this, say this, or even if they don't ask that, give them your elevator pitch anyways. So we're gonna write down a few lines and... Rehearse them yes. and not stray from them. Yes. Not over explain, not get into details. Yeah, because we only have so much time, so we really can't over explain. Jenny and I have a problem. We don't say the obvious thing mm -hmm. often enough. Yep. We gloss over the obvious thing to point out some sort of intricate detail that you just, you totally missed the point. This is a cutting board. We build them here. We put people's names on them. Go buy them. Go buy them. They look pretty. That's pretty much it. That's Scripting done. <laughs> so now I'm in the Samara office and I have got to edit our website in order to um, be ready to take orders. You wanna see the table? Yeah, that's the table, so. Got to get the website ready so it can take orders, and uh, yeah, that'll be a couple hours of work. Jenny turned her desk 90 degrees, and she thinks it's the coolest thing ever. I do! Doesn't it look nice? I think it looks nice. It's a nice filming angle. And then when I don't want to sit here, I can scoot over to that desk and have another really nice background to film behind. It's the little things. The next morning. I'm so nervous. This should be here any minute. I've got the whole studio set up. I don't know what they're gonna want to talk about. We got flight suits if they want to do hurricane stuff. We got our whole setup ready to go here. I don't know. 
I'm nervous, I'm excited. I have no idea what to do. Got my fancy polo on. We got coffee and kolaches and donuts for everybody. I just, I don't think there's anything else I can do. I think we've over-prepared. How are you feeling? Um, I'm good. Definitely more nervous than yesterday, but yeah. it'll be good. I'm excited. Yeah. I hope everybody likes our table design. Oh, I think they will. I hope they buy it. Yeah, that's the most important part. I know they'll like it. I just hope they buy it. How much do they like it? I know, exactly. All right, so we're getting set up. We're getting ready. It's time. There's Lena. Say hi, Lena. Hi. There's David. David's a camera guy. Is that your official title? Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. He's really Very good official. at his job. <laughs> That's it. He's really good at his job. Um, so we got the whole setup here. We got the camera ready to go. They're going to tease it first, and then they're going to give us a two or three minute segment. So how are you feeling, Jenny? I'm feeling great. This is what it looks like. You like our final setup? We only rearrange things like two or three times to get it. I'm not like nervous. It. You're nervous. <laughs> No, it'll be great. Our friend Summer is here Hello. for moral support. Always. <laughs> this morning we are spotlighting a small business owned by a couple that are active military. Yeah, they started a side hustle making cutting and charcuterie boards and it really took off. So our Lena Maria is there this morning to see their creations. Good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Jose and Denise. That's right. I am live here with Jenny and Davis. They are the owners of Samara Table Company. Jenny, can you tell us the inspiration behind this business and how long y'all have been operating for? Yes, so, so we've been here in Houston for about three years now with Samara Table Company. Uh, we've been building our modern dining tables for about five years total. Um, we absolutely love building our tables and getting to make um, products that bring people together where they can spend quality time in the same room. And the, I mean, these are beautiful. You can tell that they were totally made with love. Davis, can you talk to me about the process of creating one of these? How long does it take? Sure, so when we first moved to Houston in 2020, it was hard to meet people. And so we saw a need for business owners to send uh, a person personalized gift uh, right to their clients and so we started making these personalized engraved cutting and charcuterie boards where we can uh, engrave the customer's name on the front and then the business owner's name on the back and uh, yeah we make them right here in the warehouse and uh, we have them stocked up here behind us and then when an order comes in we just put them through the engraver here we finish them up we wrap them in luxury gift packaging box them up and ship them right to your door and that's how it looks when it comes Beautiful. And as you can see on the box, there's a little bit of an environmental component to this, which obviously is a scientist I love. Can you talk to us about that, Jenny? Absolutely. So obviously we work with all wooden materials. We make wood tables, wood cutting boards. And so we understand that we kind of need to take care of and replenish our materials if we want to keep doing this for a long time. So for every board that we ship out, we work with organizations that plant one tree, whether here locally or worldwide. And when we deliver one of our handmade tables, they actually plant 10 trees. So I just wanted to make sure that we're taking care of, you know, what we've been given to work with. Beautiful. I love that. Okay. Obviously, the name of the company is Samara Table Company. This is not a table, but I understand that you guys have some exciting news that you want to share. Do you want to do this? We can do this one together. Meet in the middle. <laughs> meet in the microphone. What's the announcement? Absolutely. So this morning, for the first time here on Fox 26, we are releasing our newest dining table design. Um, it's a beautiful round tabletop with a modern geometric base. You can see pictures and video on our website. If you go to samaratable.com, they're ready for purchase. We've got different color options and we're really excited about this one, um, especially because of the shape. If you want to explain that. Sure. Yeah, they're all handmade. They've got a circular top. And one thing that we keep hearing is that now that we take our time a little bit more seriously, when we get to spend time together, people want to see each other around the table. And with a circular table, you can see everybody at the table. So that's the inspiration behind the circular design. And then we've got a modern geometric base. So we're really excited. They're all made by hand, highest quality, solid wood. Um, you're just not going to find anything out there at this price point. Um, so we're super excited to reveal that to the Houston area first. All right. Love that. And speaking of revealing things to the Houston area, that's not the only plot twist, okay, in this story. Keep it here. In the 9 o'clock hour, we've got something else we're going to chat about. Two hours later. Meteorologist Lena Maria introduced us to a couple who makes uh, beautiful furniture, but they also have a lot in common with us. 
they investigate hurricanes. So we want to check back in with Lena Maria for details on that. So introduce it. Wait, they're dressed differently this hour. Yes, we went through a wardrobe change. Your eyes are not playing tricks on you. They are small business owners. Uh, they are obviously hurricane hunters and veterans. Thank you for your service. People probably are curious about the love story. So how did you guys meet? Who wants to take that one? I'll do it. We met in college. So we were both weather nerds and uh, this has been our dream job for a long time. But yeah, we met in college. Okay. And how many flights have you guys flown together? Uh, so together we haven't done any. Um, we don't fly together on the same airplane. It's just a rule we have. Um, but we have our, we each keep track of the number of storms we've flown separately. Okay, so how many have you flown, Jenny? So I have fl flown through the center of a hurricane 25 times total. Okay, total. And? 22. 22. Oh, Jenny has you beat. I'm so sorry. But I did see on your YouTube, you flew through Ian nine times. Talk about that experience. Yeah, Ian was a crazy storm last year, um, completely decimated Florida. And um, I got the chance to fly through it nine times. I flew through it before it hit Florida and then after it hit Florida, before it hit the Carolinas. And so I um, was intimately familiar with uh, Hurricane Ian. Was that your roughest ride, would you say? By far. It was the biggest storm I've flown in yet, and uh, it was a pretty rough ride, too. What would you say, Davis, is your number one safety tip uh, for people as they kind of get prepared for this hurricane season? Uh, prepare now. When you're at the grocery store, just grab a case of water, grab some uh, dried food. Um, just make it a, a small little habit now. That way, if, God forbid, something comes towards us, you're already prepared. So just grab one thing when you're at the grocery store to prepare right now, and then there's less for you to worry about when something comes towards us. Perfect. Great tip we are running out of time i'm still nervous I it's know. over but i'm still nervous. i still got the little like kind of nervous shakes oh air force is gonna get mad at us if we keep filming in uniform Shh, bye. oh my gosh man i'm kind of sweaty I, we haven't watched the broadcast yet no. i don't know how it went you guys saw it I probably but i think it felt like it went pretty well yeah yeah um, I there, mean, there's nothing glaring in my head where I was like, oh, I wish I wouldn't have said that, or I wish I would have said that, I yeah. think. I feel like the practice of YouTube is paying off. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know, it just, it was super fun. Like, Lena was great, the cameraman, oh, She Dave was so was, much fun. David was awesome, like. Excellent crew, we had a great conversation, even behind the camera, just getting to talk to Lena about all sorts of weather stuff, just having another, like, meteorologist in the room to talk to was such yeah. a blast. It's a shame our friend JD wasn't there either, but I know, we he, missed had, him. he had other stuff to do, but. All in all, a really good experience. I'm so happy that we were able to get this opportunity. Um, it was great to talk about the business. Um, and obviously anytime we can spread the message about hurricane preparedness, we will most definitely do so. Um, but all in all, I think it's just really good practice too. Live TV will force you to exercise your elevator pitch, that's for sure, because they have that earpiece in their ear telling them, all right, wrap it up, 15 more seconds, 10 more seconds, and so when you gotta go, you have gotta be concise and say words that really convey your thought. This ain't YouTube. If I say something stupid, I can just pause and get another shot at it. You can't do that on live television. I'm just excited. We're getting known. The best product doesn't win. The best known product wins. Yes. And slowly but surely, we were becoming the best known table company in the world. In the, in the, in the m world. <laughs> in the m world. Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell so you get notified when we upload a video, and uh, go follow Lena on social media too. Yes, catch you on the next one. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the